So we need to make sure your SQL Server has started. And then we'll open LibreOffice. We're going to create a new base. And we're going to connect an existing database and go for MySQL. Now we're going to connect directly. And the database is going to be called Doctors because we'd already named it. Uh, the server will be the local host, which is 127.0.0.1. And we already know the port number is 8889 for this install. Yeah, we do need a username to connect to the database. I've used defaults right here, which is root, and we need the password. We'll test the connection to make sure it works. And it successfully works. So now we'll move on. Yes, we want to register the database and we want to open it for editing. I will name it Doctors Test. And we can now see that we have our tables. There are four database tables. Yeah, there is no queries, but let's create one in the SQL view. So we'll create a simple one to start with, just to make sure the database connection is that in fact working. give it a run and as we can see we have some data so now we're going to make it a bit more of a complex query because we're trying to create a report here so we'll select the app date patient name GP name consultation name cons name and sample We'll take that from the test appointment table and we'll join that on test patient and we'll join those fields on the patient number so test patient appointment dot patient number or patient nose equals test patient dot patient knows number and then we'll join that again to bring in the third table which is test GP we'll join that on test patient dot GP number GP knows equals test GP dot GP knows and we'll run that query just to make sure it works as you can see we get all the data it's all joined from the three tables and it's working fine so we'll save the query as appointments or appointment appointments so now we're going to create a report we could use a wizard but we're going to use the design view instead We don't need any of these fields because we're going to use a query to get our fields. And we're going to use the query we just created. So we're going to select all these fields and add them to the report. Now this wouldn't be a useful report because we can't group it by the GP name or whatever field you want to group it on. I'm going to group it on the GP's name. So we're sorting and grouping. And we add the GP name. Let's sort. Uh, make sure the group header's on and we turn the group footer on. Or make it present. And now we can see the blue sections where the group header and the group footer is. So we're going to take the GP name, we're going to cut it, and we're going to paste it into the header section. That means it's only repeated every time the GP changes for the report instead of displaying the GP name every time. So we're going to add a nice line because the report should be nice. That's the whole point of printing them. And 
now we're going to take the column headings and put them in the group name so that they're only repeated once per grouping. We're just going to arrange them so that they make sense for our report. Now we'll actually arrange the database fields. This repeat for every record, this section, the detail section. and we'll make it neater by making it smaller just so it repeats a bit tighter and now we'll create a nice header for the top of each page it's just the same as if you were new, using your word processor document a word processor application we'll call it Sunny Health Surgery GP Report and we'll just format it a bit And we'll include some data in the footer. This will be the footer for each page or each group, each grouping, not the, not the actual page. And we're going to include a calculated field. That's going to be total visits. It's going to be the total visits for that GP. show you can well, edit multiple lines. So now we actually take the data field and we change the data properties for it. We select counter and that will count the group, the number of items in the group. And we'll just make it a wee bit neater. And we'll make sure after each footer there's a page break. We could leave it so that it repeats per more than one on a single page, but for this one I'm going to have a page break. So we're going to insert page numbers into the footer. We're going to insert the date into the footer and page numbers, sorry. We're going to save our report. We're going to call it GP Visit Report. And now that that's saved, we can go ahead and execute it. And that'll actually perform the query and output the data. So it's got the GP name, it's got the headings, and it's got each person that visited and what happened and the total count of visits for it, and that's per GP. And well, these reports are now stored with the query 